CES is crazy, but we're willing to brave the crazy to bring you some of the best coverage on the internet. After filming over 30 videos, we wanted to give you an inside look at what really happened this year at CES to make all of this possible for you. This is Pocket Now Insider. The biggest consumer electronics show happens in Las Vegas every year and is attended by thousands of exhibitors and literally hundreds of thousands of press, analysts, and other attendees. The show is spread out not only across the massive multi-building Las Vegas Convention Center, but also throughout various hotels and casinos in Las Vegas. Getting around requires a tremendous amount of walking and waiting in taxi and shuttle lines. In fact, on the peak day, Tuesday, we probably walked about 20 miles each. That's right, this year we rented a car which gave us back many hours that would be typically spent waiting in long lines. For CES 2013, we had three people from the Pocket Now staff attend. It was me, Michael Fisher, and Jaime Rivera. Three is the perfect number because while two, like me and Michael, could be out filming video, the other, Jaime, could be back at the press room rendering and uploading video. Speaking of rendering and uploading video, the right tools do the job right. This year we were equipped with a 15-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display, an Elgato hardware accelerator, and internet tethering on all four carriers, but unfortunately, the tethering didn't work because all carriers throttle bandwidth. Our only option was to rely on the ethernet connection found in the press rooms which are found in each convention center building and are often packed with literally hundreds of members of the press. For us, CES took place over three days. We all arrived in Vegas on Sunday. We stayed at the Luxor, which is relatively close to the convention center. Nothing much happened on Sunday, but it was a good time for me and Jaime and Michael to hang out a little bit before the wave of work hit us. Then, Monday was press day, the day where all companies made their big announcements. We had to be choosy about which events we wanted to attend, since there were only three of us. We started off with the AT&T developer event in the morning, then we went to Samsung and Huawei in the afternoon. The Samsung event had a massive attendance with a line forming outside of the door four hours before the event. In fact, I waited in line to keep our place while Jaime and Michael went to Huawei. But all Samsung had to announce were some televisions and a washer dryer that lets you look at your Twitter feed, seriously. Later that day, we went to the Sony event where we finally got to see some new hardware with the Xperia Z and the Xperia ZL. Then Tuesday was the real day of work. We set a goal of recording 30 to 40 videos and Tuesday was the day to do it. We started off the day by going to booths of major companies like Samsung, Verizon, and Intel to see what they had to show. Then we hit the second tier companies like ZTE and Huawei. Finally, we hit third tier players, of which there were tons uh, that had a product to show, but a smaller stand to show it in. We found some really cool diamonds in the rough, like a company called Noit, working on some truly innovative Android hardware, and a company called Open Mobile, which is working on getting Android apps to run on non-Android platforms. Pretty cool for all these new platforms that are coming around. We also had a meeting at the Qi booth, where we got a look at the future of wireless charging. Cool stuff. And of course, interspersed were several meetings with various hardware companies, a handful of booth tours, and even some time to do an on-location podcast from the hotel room, which was a lot of fun. Uh, so, CES is fun, it's interesting, but it's a hell of a lot of work. Uh, but we enjoy it, and most of all, we love bringing it to you, so we really hope you enjoyed our coverage. If you want to see all of our CES videos, we've made a handy-dandy playlist uh, that you can enter by clicking up here, and you can see all of the stuff we recorded. Uh, be sure to subscribe to find out first when new videos hit the Pocket Now Video YouTube channel. And of course, thanks for watching. We do this for you guys. That's it for now.